Brilliant. It's Jeff Sinker from Skype Guitar Lessons Online.com. Great to see you all again. Really do appreciate your support, all you existing subscribers out there. This is the first time that you visited the site. Why not click on that subscribe button while you're here? Click on that bell, that way you'll be notified whenever I'm posting any new tracks. Well, this song, if you don't know it already, White Snake, Give Me All Your Love, from the 1987 album, multi-platinum album. Featuring on the guitar, John Sykes, although all the videos that you will see there will be featuring uh, Vivian Campbell. Uh, he left just as they started touring on this. Very sad, really. I never got the chance to see John Sykes with White Snake. Really is a fun song, and I've got to thank my subscriber, Peter Gibson, for asking me to cover this song. Uh, really did enjoy going through on this, so, so I, I hope the same is for yourselves when you go to learn it. It's not too hard, so it isn't. So, yeah, I think you will have some fun on this. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to now take you and show you how to play Give Me All Your Love. So don't go away. Preview. Right, let's look at that opening sequence. I'll play it through and then we'll break it down. So we start off with an open E. Three on the E string, a little bend. To an A5. Which is open A, and two on the D, and two on the G. Then we go up to five on the D and four on the G. Bring in your third finger onto five on the G. Get back to three on the low E with a little bend. To the A5. Back up to that five for this G chord, really, and what we're playing, but uh, we're just doing that five and four on the D and the G. Then we got two F5s, which is one on the E and three on the A. And twice. Then we do a C5, which is one on the A, five on the D. Move up to the G5, so we're on three on the E and five on the A. We move up one fret, and that would take us into the verse. Let me play that through in a slow tempo. So there's your intro. Let's have a look at the verse now. Right, so I'll just play it through once and then I'll break it down. So we start off with three on the A string. Play that three open strings. Then we do that G position, which is that five and four, five on D, four on G. Bring it into five, five. We go back and play three open strings on the A. And then we're going to play seven, seven, D and G. Open A string. Back to seven. Slide down to five on the D and G. Play that together in slow tempo. And then we repeat it. Our next part starts off with an open E. We've got this little line. So I'm going to play this full line through. So as you come out of that last part on that first sequence, we've got this three, two, and then we play this. So, open, three, two. First fret on the low E, play that tw three times. And then we're going to play open G and B. Going to one on the B, two on the G. Another three on the F. And then we're playing three on B, four on G twice. Sliding down to one and two. 
Now we've got this next part which is moving across an F chord, an F chord first inversion. So what we play on that is first finger all the way across 5 fret from the A string, holding down 6 on the B, 7 on the D string. And we're going, lifting up the second finger. Then we go to C5, which is 3 on the A and 5 on the D. Down to the G again, G5, 3 and 5 on the A. Back up to the 4. And we repeat the whole section again. So. We go back and play this and we would repeat the whole line but at the end of the final circuit we play it through then we come around and play the whole circuit again we play this line which you heard in the intro so as I've come out of with that pitched harmonic on the end so what I'm doing on that last line So I'm sliding from 7 to 5 on the A, to 3 on the A, 5 on the A, 3 on the A, 5 on the low E, open E, and you pitch the harmonic on 3. And then we're back into... Start all over again and repeat that. And the great thing about this song is that the verse and the chorus are the same, or different. Uh, as far as the guitarist is concerned, obviously, obviously there's a different melody line on that, but for playing the verse and the chorus, we play exactly the same line. And once we've come out of that, because we play verse, chorus, verse, chorus, then it goes into the guitar solo. And I'm not going to cover the guitar solo in this lesson. I'm just going to look at the rhythm guitar. If I get enough response on this video, then I'll look at the solo. But at this point, I just want to cover the rhythm guitar section, which is what we're going to do now. So let me just play the first section of the guitar through the solo, and then I'll break it down. <laughs> Now that line will be played twice. So what we're doing here, we're starting off on second fret. We're starting off on an F sharp three, and then we're going to go two on the D and G, sliding up to four on the D and G, and back, back to the F sharp for three, and then we're going to pick up four on the D string, slide to nine. Then we're going to play open E, open B. And then we're picking up six on the D. Back to open B. To open E. So again. We go back and repeat. And then back to. To that line. So we get this whole thing. And then we're going to play an A5, which you just open string A and then 2 D and G to an E, just moving up. So we play an open E, 2 on the A, 2 on the D. That session gets repeated. Now the next time round, once we've done that repeat, we start exactly the same, but there's a change towards the end. So we get this. Thanks. And it changes this. What I'm playing there is an A5. So I'm playing this A5 from 7 on the D, holding down 9 on the G, 10 on the B. 
So we play them three twice. Then we've got three chugs on the open A and seven. So we play that three. And then we've got nine on the G, full tone bend release. So we put that all together, we would get. Now you play that twice. Then we come into the exit from the solo, which again, I'll play through and then I'll break it down for you. So the exit of the solo will go like this. So we start off with an A5, which is uh, open A string 2-2 two, two on the D. Moving down to an E5, so it's open E and then 2-2 two, two on the A and the D. B5, 2 on the A, 4-4 four, four, D and G. To an A5. And then we're going to go to an F. So it's 1 and 3 and 3 A and D. And we play an over F to an E. And we play up the octave, which is 7 on the A and 9 and 9 on the D and G. Up the rest of the bar. Then we come down to the C5, which is 3 on the A, 5, 5, D and G. G5, 3 on the low E, 5, 5 on the A and the D. And then an A5, back to the A5. And then we've got that line with that harmonic pinch at the end. So we're just sliding seven, five, three, five on the A, three on the A, five on the low E, open E, and then three on the E with a pinch. And then we go back into the uh, normal verse section. Now on chorus three, there is a change to the end of the way we play it. Now when we're coming out of this, and we would go to the C. Now instead of going up to the G sharp, what he does, he goes to an F, and we play on the count. We got this one bar, then move up to G five, and then back to. So we've got that part that comes in on chorus number three. Now what we're going to do is look at the outro section because again there is a change on that as well. Now on this section we, we're playing through a chorus and again we're coming after that one. Going to the C and to the G. Now on this part we go and continue going forward to the F sharp. Sorry, to the G sharp. But then we play this. So we get. So let's just look at that change. C5 first of all. G sharp. A. And then we go back and we play exactly what we were doing in the intro. So we play. So we play on this E. Open E, three on the G, going to that A5. And then we got back and play there again, same as the intro. Three. Repeat, three, A5. Then we've got this arpeggio section, which is a C major arpeggio, so we're playing. Three on the A, two on the D, five on the D, then we play a G major, so we're playing three on the E, two on the A, five on the E, uh, A. Then we play an A minor seven, which is just a flat bar across five fret on the D, G, B, and E string, and I use my third finger for that. I'm going to bring my second finger over to the low E string on a 5 fret again and I'm going to mute that A string and I'm just going to play and that takes us to the end of the song 
I say it, it, it is really is a fun song to play, but not too difficult. So there's not as many parts as there would be in a normal White Snake song. Well, I hope you've enjoyed learning to play this as much as I enjoyed learning it to teach you. It really is a fun song. I love that riff. Got so much power and fun behind it. Oh, take your time with it. You know, go through the various parts. If you get stuck on some of the movements, just use that YouTube where you reduce the timing. Uh, we can turn it down to 0.75 and 0.5, just if you're unsure exactly what to do with the fingers when you play that. Well, I'm going to let you go and uh, let you enjoy learning this song. If you did enjoy it and it's your first time checking out one of my videos, click on that subscribe button. Uh, that way uh, you'll be notified if you click on the bell. Remember the bell? You will be notified whenever I post any new videos to my YouTube channel, which is invariably one a week. Existing subscribers, I, I just love the support I'm getting at the moment. Really, I do appreciate everything that you're writing in and your comments and your request for new songs. Really does help like this one from Peter. It's a really good idea to feature this one. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. So until the next time, this is Jeff Sinker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com. Wishing you well. Look forward to seeing you all again soon. Until then, goodbye.